one with yellow flags in two different parts of the what racetrack. A, what a effect that has on the world championship point standing, Jack. He suddenly, both PK and Manzo are in the point. Well, we've got some experts in the pit here working on that very information, so we will give you an update what the situation is. In the meantime, let's go down to John Bisignano with only three laps left. Thank you, Jackie. We went down to the Benetton pit to find out what that misfire was a few laps ago because Berger's certainly running clear now. They thought that he was just slow shifting and backing off at that one particular point to try and conserve some fuel. As you say, the points are being all scrambled up here because of these last two retirements in the top six. My question is, Close was going to score six points if he held on to second place. But now everyone else is moving up the scale. It's close that I think is being most affected by this in the World Championship standings. Well, as you saw there, a very dejected Ricardo Petrini had got out of the car, was really showing a little bit of Italian disappointment there, as the Benetton, with only two laps to go, with the BMW engine on board, he's running on Pirelli tires, he's got an Austrian driver, and of course he's got the, the, the multi-colors of Benetton, they see on, the, on their billboards, and certainly they have all the nations painted on there. Jackie, I'd like to make one comment, I'm going to step aside from the race for just a couple of seconds here, because I know all Americans, are aware that Jose Licata lives here in Mexico City. We have spent much of the weekend with Jose. Le. He has been kind enough to be our unofficial host. He is recuperating, and the news is, by the way, he will go to Phoenix next week to try. That has not been released yet. This is the first time that has been announced publicly. It is not for sure that he will race, but if he can, he will. One lap to go, Jackie. Well, with only one lap to go, Berger has only got really about three miles of asphalt to cover. Less than that right now. And there he is, Gerhard Berger, never having won a Grand Prix before. And the World Championship standings are truly remarkable. Let me just talk about this quickly. Mantle would have 72 points if it stayed the way it was just now. Prost 65 and PK 63. So by Joe, will it be something in Adelaide? And there's a young man driving round now, praying and hoping that everything's going to stay in change. Under the yellow flag, no passing allowed because of the incident on south, the outside of the track there, which was Johansson. Jackie, can you remember the emotions inside the helmet for your first ever Formula One win? Ooh la la. I certainly can. And uh, it's certainly was an emotional experience, and it took me a couple of days to come down from that one. And I think it will also be for Gerhard a tremendously good thing for him. Of course, the first Austrian driver to come along since Nicky Lauda. Before that, Jochen Rindt. Austria has produced some great talent. And it's a great credit to this team also that they've been able to put this wonderful car together. He's and this is the checkered. final corner. We're looking for the checkered flag. He is coming round. The checkered flag has been rolled. And look at his uh, hand in the air. Uh, and that is an amazing performance. There you see it. And look at the Benetton team here. Luciano Benetton himself is at this race. In fact, <laughs> I was going to identify him for you there. He was standing up above his mechanic. So there the others cross the finishing line. And that indeed is something spectacular. And what an end to a race this has produced. There he is, and he's pulling down lap. The United Colors of Benetton certainly have dropped themselves in front of 43 different countries who are picking up satellite television of this event. And we are now going to give you the order of finish which we are just about to give you. We want to be absolutely certain of it because, of course, the championship points are very much at stake. Gerhard Berger, who has had the fastest lap in the race on two occasions this year, there have been many times when this car has shown the fastest straightaway speed. All season long, Gerhard Berger has been certainly one of the drivers that the Formula One fraternity has been looking at carefully. He has shown tremendous improvement, and it did seem like it was only a matter of time before he had won a race, and how appropriate it is, he gets one for Benetton. This is the old Pullman team. The Pullman cars have finally won a race. In a matter of speaking, a great moment for this man who is going to move on in two weeks to Ferrari. And here you see the order of finish in the championship points. Gerhard Berger of Austria, Alain Prost finishes second, Ayrton Senna of Brazil finishes third, Nelson Piquet of Brazil also finishes in fourth, Nigel Mansell finishes fifth, and sixth is Alio from France. And there you see the World Championship point standing, which is in fact something slightly different from what we have, but they are giving it to snow.
show the Mexican from television seeing that Nigel Manchelmoe has 70 points because he has had to drop two of them, uh, which of course is uh, something that uh, you would have to have a computer to work out right now, but it's the number of finishes per year. Jackie, Nigel needed a fourth or better to get points coming into this race, so I do believe at this point that is correct. Well, we'll be back to give you the official World Championship point standings in just a moment. This is ESPN at the Grand Prix of Mexico.